Now at 5.30, a local boxing legend and hundreds of others celebrate the silver anniversary of the passing of the Americans with Disabilities Act. I was honored to host today's event that recognized Gary Tiger Boletto, who was paralyzed during an accident at his home. And tonight, we're learning more about his inspiring story and what he's working on for the future. Iowa News News reporter Shante Lance was also at today's event and has more. The faces, although differing in sex and race, were among hundreds who gathered in Warwick's Crown Plaza Grand Ballroom with a common bond to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the passing of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Accessibility is a right, and, and everybody is entitled to free access. Among the advocates, champion boxer Gary Tiger Belletto. I have limited use of my arms and hands. <laughs> The Providence native who won 35 bouts and two titles is now a quadriplegic after landing on his head and breaking his neck after a pull-up bar collapsed while showing his seven-year-old son a trick. There's also not a lot of outlets for people with injuries like I have to have a place to go to exercise. There you go. <sighs> which is why he says he's planning to open up a free handicap accessible gym. We have almost 4,400 handicaps in Rhode Island that could benefit from a place like this. To better their odds with chances of recovery through maintaining weak muscles, he plans to raise money for the gym by starting his own foundation. A boxing champion turned fighter for the disabled. I didn't plan on being an advocate for this. I didn't plan on being inspirational. I was just trying to get myself better and along the way I love helping people and there's a lot of people in my with my injury that aren't doing anything and I can't help myself but to show them the way. And Gary Boletto hopes to start his foundation and open his gym by the end of next year. Reporting with the Mobile Newsroom, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News.